Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. We're using John Ruda's uh, 389, and we're doing a run from Raton, and we're going to La Mesa, Texas today, uh, and we're using the Saya trailer here, picking up some nuts. Uh, we're at BNSF, so it's a little noisy with the train. You can hear the new sounds uh, with FMOD, which sound really good, and uh, once that engine back there gets over here, you're going to hear the difference, but, man, it, it does sound really, really, really cool. Uh, with this... Uh, we have the uh, Creech Bomb sounds now. Okay, you can hear him just stopping everything over there. Man, they are noisy, aren't they? Um, the new Creech Bomb sound pack for 1.37. We're using the cat engine. Uh, you'll hear that in a minute once we let this train go by. All right, cargo has been loaded. Fantastic. So let's listen to what this thing sounds like when you fire it up. It does sound really, really, really good. Uh, and we'll do it from in here. I have the windows down. Uh, technically, this uh, truck doesn't have the animated window since it's uh, not updated for that yet. But I'll let you listen in. Beginning route navigation. Okay, wonderful. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. Yes. Right, those sound great, don't they? Let's go ahead and put this thing into gear. Let's get on out of here, shall we? I'll make a left out of here, so we're going to have to swing wide for that. There we go. We're going to pretend we have uh, animated windows. You can still change the windows so it changes the sound levels, but uh, you're not going to actually see them 3D uh, go down in 3D. The, the truck hasn't been updated for that yet. All right, car after you. Let's go after him, yep. Yep, we're turning left. And now we'll turn right. Oh man, that thing sounds great though. That sounds real nice. And one of the first uh, modifications to come out for the 1.37 sounds. So we have actual F mod sounds with Creech Bomb doing what he does best, and that is make some amazing sound sets for American Truck Sim. Yeah, we'll make a left here. We're gonna keep the windows in quotation marks. Uh, we're gonna keep those rolled down for now, and then uh, we'll we'll roll them up once we get on the highway. I don't know what this truck is doing and which way he's going, but we've got to give him uh, give him way. Don't mind me. After this charger, we should be golden. Yep, we're good. <laughs> that sounds so good. So good. Put that in the gear. There we go. Looks like we're making a left, so let's get in the left lane here. Let you listen to the Jake break here. Oh yeah, that sounds good. That sounds really nice in fact. Let you listen to these sounds from the outside here as we make our left turn. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds amazing actually. Sorry, car. All right, now we're getting up to speed. The highway's down the road here. How's everybody's week been so far? You guys been uh, hanging in there with a lot of people having stay-at-home orders? I am just doing dandy. Actually, after, t after this uh, video is complete, I gotta get back into iRacing and do some uh, some practice. Our uh, nope, putting in gear. Yeah. Our OCRP iRacing League is firing up again, and I'm actually gonna race this time. I'm not gonna be doing the broadcasting. And we're doing four different series. We're doing the trophy trucks. We're doing uh, rally cross trophy trucks dirt 410s and we're doing the uh, 
the now Arca, but it was the k and car. Now it's the Arca car, which is pretty awesome. So I haven't decided if I want to put that on YouTube or I might just, I, I'm going to be streaming those races. So I'll probably put them on the Fabian Alive channel. You can check them out there. All right, let's roll these windows up here. There we go. Nope, not that one. Roll that up. It's kind of weird not being able to hear. You have to just go with the sound, you know? Hold on a second. Let's get into gear first. Now we can roll that window up on the left. There we go. Wonderful. Now we're cruising. And we're getting out of Raton. Finally. I know, it took us a little bit, but that's okay. While the sun's shining down on us, let this guy go. I'm going to get a uh, screenshot, and I'll be right back. All right, we got that out of the way, so that's good news for us. Now we can just focus on driving, and we'll go into eight high here now. Let everybody go by. Whiz by us here on Highway 64, and we're going to La Mesa, Texas. So we're going to get to see some cool places. Originally, I was going to go to Big Spring, but uh, that job kind of dried up really quick whenever I got there. But that's all right. No big deal. So big, you know, big things happening with uh, iRacing in uh, NASCAR. They moved over to the iRacing Pro Invita Invitational Series. Uh, and I watched those. Uh, I watched the replacement race, and then I watched the Invitational race. And uh, I've got to say, man, that was uh, that was really cool to see. Really cool indeed. And uh, now they're going to be at Texas this weekend at 1 p.m. on Fox Sports 1 and iRacing. And way more drivers are getting involved, which is super cool. All right, let's get our truck up to speed here. Get a little more comfortable in my seat for this long haul. There we go. Much better. Had to lean back in my chair a little bit. Sometimes I forget to do that. Uh, 65 for right now. I don't know what this speed limit is through here. I haven't seen a sign in a while. We'll see here in a second. Maybe. Clayton. Almost to Clayton. But uh, last time we talked about, you know, quarantining and all that stuff. And, and a big thanks to all the people that... Uh, you know, that are out there doing the essential work and and really being on the forefront and everything. And we had a nice little chat about cryptocurrency and all sorts of fun stuff. But man, uh, since that video came out, I saw that uh, in Forbes magazine, they were talking about the digital dollar. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, with that stimulus package. But uh, for those of you guys that need that stimulus package, you know, uh, I'm really happy that that bill was passed. I don't know. I'm not a political dude. I just am not. You know that about me. That is a great looking forward air uh, trailer, I must say. Uh, you know that about me. So we don't spit politics here and we don't care. But I'm just saying, like, for those of you that needed the money, I'm, I'm really happy uh, that you're going to be able to get it. I don't know how they're going to do that yet. But if they do it digitally, isn't that interesting? Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, you can go back to my previous uh, video I did. And we talked about all that fun stuff. But we're not going to talk about the C word and all that. Oh, man, we are stopping here, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. Holy cow. Okay, we're not even going to go into gear. What are you doing? I'm in, I should be in fourth gear right there. Okay, now we're in fourth gear. I did not expect Clayton to have lights, but uh, you know what? Oh, well. well. Let's roll our windows down so we can listen to these awesome sounds while we're at it. Because, man... I love the new sounds that we get in America Truck Sim. It's just fantastic. Earlier when I was trying to do an intro, uh, we had a pesky train uh, that had other options. And they were like, hey, you know what? I don't care you're doing an intro. We're coming through. And I got to say, the sounds on that were so good. I'm going to uh, play a little bit of it for you here.
all about that. Pretty darn cool, right? Yeah, go street. We know. Got caught in another light. Yay. Everybody else is uh, waiting too, so that's okay. We're in Clayton. So if you guys live near Clayton, that's pretty cool. I think we're in Texas. I think. Maybe not. I don't know where Clayton is located. It might. We might still be in New Mexico. But it's hard to say. This thing in the gear here, and we should be rolling. Is this ours? No, nope, it's theirs. That's okay. So yeah, back into iRacing, doing some racing again. I'm excited about it. Uh, and, and I just love the fact that we're doing a bunch of different uh, styles of racing, you know? That's something that's uh, really interesting to me uh, rather than doing the old cookie cutter NASCARs, you know, style races. I'm having trouble getting this thing into third gear for some reason. It doesn't like it. I know I'm over revving in it a little bit, but that's okay. I wanted to listen to those upper uh, RPMs. We should be shifting a little before the 15. Back on the highway we go. Yeah, now we're going to be entering Texas. So we were in New Mexico. Oh, man, that sounds awesome. All right, roll these windows up. There we go. And on the, that side, we're going to roll those up as well. If I can. Oh, nope. It's so weird to not be able to hear it, you know, or to see it. I mean. There we go. I think we just have this one. There we go. Got them both. Nice. All right, 65 through here. Now we know. So we're at 65 there. We'll go ahead and set that cruise control. Beautiful. Now we don't have to uh, worry about all that while we're jibber-jabbering away. So I've been thinking about uh, doing some different stuff here on the channel. I've been thinking about doing some Assetto Corsa content. There's a lot of mods out there uh, that came out. And I haven't played Assetto Corsa in forever. You know me. I love sim racing and racing in general. Uh, let me know if that's something that would interest you to go check out some of the mods that have come out for those and you know you, the, you've got all sorts of different tracks you can download and man I think that'd be a lot of fun so we have that uh, and then on top of that you know I've been doing uh, oh we got Dial Hard up here let's make sure we're not coming into another city and, and be in trouble and slow down because I don't want to okay well now we're really slowing down because of this guy and keep that rolling down. I think we're going to have reduced speed here. And we got lights. Yep. Yes, indeed. Slower on down. All right. Okay. What is that bus doing? Continue straight. He probably thought he hit somebody or something. That's what it looked like. He had his... That or he's just taking that long to get around that corner. I don't know. Um, but yeah, with flight simulation, that's been great. Uh, I've really enjoyed making those videos uh, of the bigger airplanes. And flight simulation in general has been wonderful because of, uh, you know, being quarantined in the house and stuff. It, it just keeps the day, uh, you know, floating along a lot quicker because I'm using that side of my brain and... It's been a good distraction for sure. Uh, sadly, LSPDFR, I don't know when that's going to return, if at all, because it's just a mess, man. Doesn't run. Uh, it doesn't work. Just crashes all the time now. And it was working perfectly fine. I didn't touch a, you know, a file. Didn't change any, anything at all. And, uh, wow, it just... Uh, it crashed on me, and then now I cannot even get it to go on duty. It's just a mess. And you guys having that problem, too? Man, a lot of lights on this trip today. I was not expecting it. But that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Check out this truck, though. It is pretty, and I love the colors on it. Custom paint job. 
It's got the uh, the new style headlights on it. Yes, it is a pretty, pretty truck. Okay, light. We're ready to go. How are we on fuel? Oh, we're fine on that. That won't be a problem. At all. All right, let's get rolling, people. You know, the thing that really sucks is that we had, like, a lot of plans around uh, this time. With friends coming over, and then that Flight Sim Expo was coming up, and I don't think any of that stuff's going to happen now. I really don't see it happening. And it's unfortunate, but we got to be safe about all of this, you know? Continue straight. And I don't think they've officially canceled Flight Sim Expo, but it's a matter of time before it happens. We just took a survey on it. Oh, I hear a train. I hear signal crossing, but man, it's eating our frame rate, whatever that is. Oh, there's the train right there. Check that out. Let's see if we can listen to it. Goodbye. That's awesome. Well, something's going on. I'm getting terrible frame rates in the uh, inside view, but not in the outside view. So we'll just stick to the outside view for right now. I know it's gonna make a lot of people happy. There we go. It might be something to do with that longer train mod. I'm not sure. We're sticking on this road, yep. Let the cars go by. Why not? Yeah, I can't see what my RPMs are or anything like that. Woo, look at that lean on that trailer. All right, looks like the uh, inside view is back to normal. Yeah, I think it's something to do with that longer trains mod uh, was hurting us there. Be careful here because we already got a turn coming up and all this, and they're another township, so we'll try to stay on top of that. And Dumas. Slow run down, 45. And we'll get in the right lane here. Welcome to Dumas, everybody. The right lane, then turn right. We will do that and then turn right. Getting better at these floating the downshifts, man. They they take a little bit to turn get used right. to. Yeah, we'll turn right when we get a chance. Yelling at us all the time, lady. Okay, well, let's roll the windows down so we can listen to the awesome sounds of the truck. Yeah, that third gear is sticky, man. It does not want to go into that gear. Careful around this corner. Don't need to be in a huge hurry. Got a BP station right here. Down into fourth gear. There's no cars there. We can cut that corner. 35. We got another turn up here on the right. I don't know why they didn't have it just go straight down and then make the right. But, all right. No problem. Okay. Let's see if we can get fourth gear here, right? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Over rev a little bit here and there, but that's okay.
Come on, everybody. Go, go, go. I'm ready to get on a big highway. I don't think we're going to, though. I think we're just going to be on these little small ones today. That's all right. We got a little bit of it. Interstate time in. This wasn't very long. Come on, cars. I need to pull up a little bit so I can see. Yeah, you want to pull up to be able to see, but if you go too far, you'll get in trouble by the game. It doesn't like that. Put that trailer around that corner. Yep, no problem. Man, this thing sounds great. All right, 287 looks like it's going to be a four-lane highway, so that's cool. It's good news for us. Let's go ahead and roll these windows up. Oh, I hit that one again. <laughs> There we go. And I assume it'll be 65 again. Probably. Man, seen a lot of desert today. That's what we're seeing. But we're on that side of Texas where there's just not a lot. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But the biggest thing was, how cool is it to have new sounds from Creech Bomb uh, for 137? It's just a taste of what's to come. And now, I, from what I've checked out before... Uh, I did this video. It looks like, you know, that's on the rise. Modders are starting to get in there and, and learn the new system, which is really, really, really cool. Because we're only going to get better and better uh, mods, you know, as time goes on with the 137 beta. But big news I wanted to talk about completely got sidetracked because we go on so many tangents um, is that Colorado was announced. And, uh, you know, quite a few of us got that one right. We figured that was going to be the next one. So we're going to get Idaho and then Colorado. But they have two teams that are working on the maps separately. So we get about two states per, you know, cycle. Which is great. So we're going to have Idaho and Colorado. I'm going to stick to this right here. Sorry, bus. I can't get over those cars. We'll keep, oh, keep left here. Okay, I see. I thought this was the two-lane highway. My fault. My fault. Slow it on down. Man, I can't. It's like anytime I want to get into talking about something, I got to deal with driving. It's, I mean, it is a driving simulator, so continue there's that. Straight. Yeah, we we'll continue straight here. Let's slow way on down here. It's like the moment I get into it, man. Not happening. We're going to go straight. Welcome to Amarillo, Texas. All right. Any uh, games coming out you guys are excited for? I've got to say, one that I'm really excited for is that Outbreak game. The uh, storm chasing game. And I've gotten some people asking me why I haven't made uh, videos on storm chasers. And that's because there's nothing new. Nothing new has been added to it since back then. And, you know, I, I'm all for developers just having a, uh, you know, taking their time, in, you know, and getting things right. But, man, I mean, throw throw your community a bone that has uh, you know, bought into the early access program. I think that that's a bad practice if you, uh, you know, you, you start... Because it was chucking out updates left and right at first, and then it just died. Just completely stopped. And we haven't had an update since, so I, I don't want to keep promoting a game that uh, has no promise. I don't know what the future holds for it, basically. So, that's the reason why I haven't. Lubbock, Clovis, it's Hollywood. Right there. So if, if a significant update comes out soon, then yes, we'll we'll visit it and check it out. But as far as Outbreak is concerned, man, they made their uh, Kickstarter and it looks awesome. It looks real good. Yep, going Plainview, Lubbock this way, down south. Okay, so this is way more of an interstate than I was expecting. 
Oh, this is 27. No wonder. Well, that's awesome, actually. All right, I'll slow down a little bit here. That car go by. I'm going to slow down to 60 here. 65 is probably the speed limit, but the traffic flow seems to be around, uh, you know, 63 or so. And they hit the brakes in front of me and stuff, so better safe than sorry. But the size of the map that Outbreak is, is putting in is insane, man. You go to their Kickstarter page, you can see, and it's O-U-T-B-R-K is the game. Uh, the, the map is going to be huge, and I, I'm excited for that. That's going to be a fun one. Got a lot of promise there for the, the type of game. And then uh, you have Rex Studios uh, that made, you know, Rex for FSX and for Prepared and all that. They're making um, Storm Quest, and uh, they're still working on that game. So, I mean, for if you're a Storm fan, like for Storm Chasing and stuff, we have a lot of stuff coming forward that I think would be amazing. Still waiting for that uh, Alaskan truck simulator that was supposed to be coming out. Uh, and then there's some other ones. We'll be playing all sorts of fun stuff. I had fun with, uh, what was it called? Barn Finders. That was fun. Anything to occupy time, I am fine with, man. Perfectly fine with it. But I do want to thank all of you that have shown so much just love and support through all this, you know. And uh, for YouTubers right now, it's been it, it's been a, di a different kind of time because, I don't know, I know there's a lot of them that are taking advantage of people being home and throwing clickbait up and all that stuff, but it's kind of opposite for me. I've been... Uh, focused on doing things that make me happy. Plain view discovered. Man, we are about to hit some uh, rush hour traffic here, it looks like, in plain view. Slowed on down. I don't think we're going to have lights here, but regardless, they, are, they were slowing down big time here. I was ready for it. If you're from Plainview, Texas, hello. If you're out there. I'm just watching the line of traffic in front of me there. Averaging about 50 miles an hour, between 45 and 50. The left lane is actually moving really well. I think, oh, you know what it is? Look at that. It's one of those worker vans up there again. Working vans. Are oh, you going to let me over? Thank you. Appreciate that. Or are you just going to pretend you are going to let me over? Okay. That too. Yep, one of those worker vans. Never fails, man. Yep, there he is. Got his little pane of glass on the side. <laughs> All right, I'll get back over. We're making decent time. I think we're going to make our uh, arrival before the sun goes down. Oh, helicopter, though. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, which lane? Left lane here. Turn those flashers on. All right. Let them do what they got to do. Looks like they finished a pursuit. All right. Lubbock, Texas. Actually, I'm going to keep it right here in 8 low. Um, because we're going to get around this guy. This guy looks like he's going slow. Watch my mirror there on the right. Pedro Mart. Lubbock discovered. Uh, Super, you kind of come over. Yeah, I knew you were going to get stuck behind him. I, I knew I was going to get stuck behind him, so I didn't. 
That's a nice truck stop. Okay, we'll get back over here. I don't know what that is. That is unfinished business there <laughs> on the coast to coast map. Oh man, that Swift driver is going like the speed of light up there. You see that? I'm watching him, not the road. Boy, he was going quick. He was swift. It appears we're in the section of the coast to coast map that is underdeveloped. Clearly. As long as we don't hit a big, huge, like invisible wall, I'm fine. I'm fine with some graphic anomalies. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. A longer trip than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little shorter, but man. It is taking a little longer. Got a bunch of trees in the middle of nowhere. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Let's pay attention to the road here. Sorry, truck. I know I probably scared you there. Drifted into your lane. I was looking at the trees that were just in the middle of nowhere. It's like a grove just right here. Okay, slow down for you. Got more vans. And a truck trying to get on the highway, so I'm going to get over so that can happen. Don't want to be stuck there. And they're kind of freaking out anyway, so I knew that was going to be the case. So those of you that are um, on stay-at-home orders, what have you guys been doing to uh, occupy your time? Gaming? Board games? Family time? All the above? I've been doing a lot more gaming in my free time. I've been playing that uh, that TT Isla Man uh, right on the edge too in my free time. Man, that that's an addicting game. It really is addicting. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's easy to speed. I'm, I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed from 65 for us. Uh, this car is coming. Uh, the whole line is coming on the right. I'd get over if I could. Uh, La Mesa. Are we, are we going to the Best Buy here? All right, let's try to get over. Man, the cars just keep on coming. After this white one, though, maybe. Nope, don't want to do it. Red car, nope, don't want to do it. Nobody wants a lot of silver. Okay, cool. We'll just force our way in before too long. That's what we're going to have to do. I'll keep my blinker on and say, hey, I need to get over. Maybe one of these big trucks will let us over. I doubt it. No, not going to the Best Buy. I'm going somewhere else. But like I said, I was going to do the uh, big spring run and uh, that did not happen. All right, perfect. A truck turned. But yeah, I was going to do Big Spring and that whole thing canceled. It canceled on us, so I don't even know where we're going now. I just knew we were going to La Mesa. Which is funny because La Mesa is a township in uh, Los Santos in GTA 5. Oh, we're going to, is it our favorite drop off? Looks like it might be. Take the left turn ahead. It's a Walgreens, but I think turn it's the left. one that has the, uh, yeah, this is deliveries only right here. I think. Arrive. Yes, we have arrived. 
Yep. It's this Walgreens. I like this prefab. This one's fun. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of finagling to get your trailer where it needs to go, but that's all right. Okay, flashes are on, and we're going to... I think we have to do a U-turn back here, and then we can back it in on this one. Because it's probably the one all the way over here on the right. Yep, it's that one. Okay. That's definitely doable. All right, so basically I had to Austin Powers it through that whole section there, so... Uh, this video's already getting a little long, so I'm going to probably cut all that out. But yeah, it, this truck with this trailer is very, very long. And uh, it did not like it. Okay, now we're backing it on up. Let's get in our spot here. The lights are coming on. Watch that right side. And I got that one pole there to watch for. We're pretty much good here. All right, we should be able to turn with it now. If I have to pull up, then I do. It's not a huge deal, but I just didn't want to smack this pole here on the right. Gotta love these drop-offs in America Truck Sim, man. Never fails. You get these tiny, tiny, tiny spots. All right. Well... Yep, that's what I figured it was going to happen there, but that's okay. I can get this nice and straight now. I, this this pole right here just ruins this drop. It always does. Because now, let's go this way to the right to try to straighten the trailer out. I'm just going to drive up onto that damn grassy area there in a second. That's what I'm about to do. Or blind it in on the right side a little bit. That might work. To try to get that trailer straight. There we go. Now we can go this way. That, and then straighten it out. We should be golden. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we're good on that now. It's just that pull, man. That pull always gets in the way of this drop. And if you have a long, uh, you know, custom truck with the trailer, and you have to come back here it's just it takes so long to get this thing to turn around where you can back it in correctly i mean you could blind it all the way in if you wanted to but i mean it's basically doing what you do at the other walgreens drop you know the one that's like really crazy but that's all right we got it back here no problem i just didn't want to bore you with uh you know back and forth austin powers action all right Kill the flashers, kill the engine, have a look out here. There we are, backed in our spot, and the sun is starting to go down. What a fun little trip that was. Go ahead and uh, we'll complete our job. There we go, 307 miles, 7 hours, 45 minutes, 42.3 gallons of fuel consumed. How about that? Wonderful. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out what uh, mods I'm using, I'm going to show you here in just a second as it synchronizes my world of trucks uh, mod manager here we are on the right so i'm using uh, the 137 engine sounds uh these are adaptations uh and stuff for my uh, john ruda stuff that he sent out uh it's a payware truck so keep that in mind uh there's the engine sound pack 3.0 uh, then i have all these different master packs that are on the steam workshop by the way uh, and then I have the real US Google Nav, uh, personal key. That's my key for the 389. All the stuff for the John Ruta stuff. Uh, that's what I use right there. The realistic graphics mod by FRKN64. Uh, SISL compatibility. It's all stuff for uh, John Ruta stuff. Um, these are trucks. True Mirror FOV. I use that. Uh, the SCS 53 foot trailer skin pack. Uh, True Blue Emergency Vehicle Beacons, Realistic Headlights. Now, this might be obsolete later down the road. I don't know. Uh, DP's Realistic Traffic Icons. That removes those floating icons. Uh, no Boundaries gets rid of the Xs. Improved Trains. Might have to take that one out. Looks like it's eating our frame rates alive. Uh, Peterbilt 379 stuff. Um, SISL's Mega Pack. That's how you get stuff inside your uh, cab of the truck. Uh, the SISL Trailer Pack USA. I use that. Uh, for the AI and all that. 
Real Company Logo 3D. That's the one I use. Still works. Real Tires Mod, Real Tires Mod, and then Coast to Coast version 2.10.3 at the very bottom. It's probably a new version out. I don't know, but that's the one I'm using uh, and we use today. That's, that's what we're using right there, folks. Well, thank you very much. I will see you all very soon. Take care.